Hey, you welcome. Have you ever been in a situation whereby you have a campaign that was doing well, then you decided to scale it, and after some period of time, you noticed the conversion or the results start to tank? Anyways, in this video, I will share with you how you can avoid that and what you can do to consistently get conversions. Alright, so let's begin. I'll be using the Meta Ads platform. So this is more like a tutorial on scaling. Just before I continue, a friend of mine posted something on Facebook which I commented on. Then I got this particular response. I watched your YouTube video on scaling. I applied everything you explained about scaling and implemented it. Boom! I made sales tire. Tire is just like saying I made a lot of sales anyway. This was a video that I published think last year on scaling so this is like an upgraded or enhanced version of that particular tutorial it's also on my channel which i'll reference later on okay so let's begin the first you want to do is go to mapa if you are not into my channel you know mapa is your personal ad assistant for everything meta or facebook ads to access it it is free of charge to access it just go to adelkesame.com for slash mapper or search for meta ads personal assistant on the ChatGPT store the gpt store of course you need to have a ChatGPT account all right so this is the product you'll be using as a case study this is also a product that i recommended in one of my old product recommendation videos that i do so i just picked this particular one and this is one of the websites selling the product so this is what we'll be using as a case study. So let's assume one sell this product, uh, the Solo Suit True Touch Massager. As I said earlier, this particular video is on scaling, right? Now there are different ways in which you can scale. There is the horizontal scaling, there is the vertical scaling. But vertical scaling is you basically increasing your ad budget. Now the issue with that is you won't get consistent result. That is when you see your advert that was doing well, it begins to tank once you keep increasing 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 um, your ad budget so the other way is horizontal scaling whereby you scale with multiple ads or with multiple audiences but the focus here will be on multiple ads now not just multiple ads but using creatives because moving from from 20 to 24 upwards you actually don't need to focus more on your ad copy, your targeting and the likes. Although I've been talking about this for a very long time. Focus more on creatives. Your ad creative is what will get people's attention, attract your target audience. That is why it is not necessary you focus on targeting because it does not just work unless you are running some specific kind of campaign, right? So the first thing you want to do, don't worry, I also share this notion doc. If you have been following my last three videos, I've been creating Notion Doc for all of my tutorials. So I'll also share this with you. So just copy this first prompt to Mapper and paste it here. Now this URL, just um, for the URL, copy the website URL. And if it's your sales page, just copy it. So basically what you are trying to do here is we are telling Mapper to browse through this particular web page and then identify you can see it's already searching and browsing through it to identify top five pain points the product serves and also top five hidden desires that the target audience are looking for to get when they use this product so in marketing there are uh two things that happens is it that your customers or your target audience are trying to run away drift away from a particular problem or pain point or they are trying to meet certain desires using a product as to offer so those are the two elements that i'll be using you can see pain point and these are the desires that it has identified now the next thing you want to do is now use this prompt use this prompt i'll show you how you can use this to get even more than 30 Ad creative now you can i just had to use 15 just could be 20 it could be 30 but let's just use um 15 let's see 
so now we are saying using the identified pain points and desires it should help us craft hooks that grabs attention and i and i also provided templates say goodbye to pain point get rid of pain point it could be eliminate pain point you can decide to even add your own template of your head we also have one two then into bracket this desire want to attract high paying client want to generate consistent leads at low cost so these are desires of people so depending on what you are selling product now it does not necessarily need to be a physical product even if this d2 product just follow this same approach browse through this page and uh, paste the link to a web page that has the sales copy now if you do not know how to write sales copy for your product and all of that i have an ai tool for crafting sales copy and a detailed tutorial just go to uh, this particular link at delicatesign.com forward slash echo but that's not the focus of this tutorial anyway now we have 15 hooks that we can use i will show you how to also use this you can see say goodbye to chronic neck pain these are 15 right you can decide to just pick three or five out of it and i will show you how you can create at least eight creatives out of one hook so imagine you picked three hooks out of these 15 so three times it that's 24 creatives so with just three hooks you can create 24 creatives all right so now that we have a list of hooks that we can use now the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and design so here is the thing i have provided these are just examples samples right that you can use and i did something extra so i've decided to share this template this canva template with you so all you need to do is copy this link as i've said i'll share with you how you can access this notion document so copy this link and paste now once you paste you see once you paste on your browser you will see view only you can see view only but then i've decided to just share this with you so you can just use so all you need to do is click on file then make a copy so making a copy will give you access to edit uh the file i cannot teach you canva in just um few minutes right so you have two options if you already know how to use canva fine if you don't just probably send this to your designer and also send the list of hooks that you want to use but this is very very simple the most important thing is but let me explain the psychology behind these creatives so the most important thing here is okay you want to tell them you want to use the hook and the pain point you want to probably use a different kind of color for the pain point another thing you want to consider is using an arrow use an arrow to point to the object or subject in the creative so these are the most important thing and also the background so you can decide to just pick a background from a totally different design this is one this is under style right so we have the pain point on the side we have the object on the side as you can see we have the hook on one side we also have the object on under side this is another one we have uh, the hook at the top then we have the object beneath it now these are just two styles if you are good with if you are creative if you are good with visuals and all of that come up with your own concept so these are just concepts that you can replicate so these first two are just like different styles now to have more variations you can decide to bring in color psychology into this so we have this same okay let me show you here this will be better so you see this particular design and this are the same the only difference here is in the color right so every other thing remains the same i just had to play with the colors so you never can tell which of these will work that is why you just want to have as many creatives as possible now you see the same thing applies to this same style but different colors right now i've talked about styles i've talked about color psychology now the third thing i like to talk about is the subject or object so here you see um i have 
a real woman being using the product here i have just a product so you can also decide to get like three different object or subject to play around with so every other thing remains the same you just change the object so at the end of the day you will notice so if i decide to replicate this colors for this other one i will have eight creatives in total just using this hook say goodbye to chronic neck pain you can see say goodbye to chronic neck pain that is just one now we have eight creatives so you can decide to pick let's say two pain points and two desires and just design that is it guys so once you have done that the next thing is you want to set up your ad campaign so many of you will be wondering okay when are we going to facebook ad campaign you see 80 percent of the work is done outside of facebook so every other thing once you have all of your assets then you can enter facebook to uh do whatever thing you want to do so the next thing is on your campaign structure and setup but before then so guys i've been having people asking me about my facebook ads course i've not been talking about it i just recently started seeing people buzzing me on facebook asking if i have a facebook ads course then i, I noticed i've not been talking about it for a very long time so yeah the course is still active we still have an active community so if you are interested i've decided to give 50 percent discount off for just the next three days so from now till saturday you have access to the course at 50 percent discount just go to the link you are currently seeing on your screen at delicatesimer.com forward slash f b a so basically the link you have the 50 percent discount to the course meanwhile if you if you visit uh, the web page after and you are seeing the normal price it means the offer is gone this is not marketing gimmicks in the next three days it will be off i just want to do this to reintroduce the course to you guys all right so let's continue now once you have uh, our creatives now the next thing is you want to set up your campaign and launch now basically what you want to do is create one campaign with multiple ad sets so let's assume you are creating three ad sets so ad sets one you can decide to use three to five of your ads with same hook right same hook same object so for example i'll just i can pick uh this one two three four and use them in one ad set so assuming i also did this deep color design for this other one i'll do one two and the other two design that i did not do making four so that's four four right so just have four of those creatives in one ad set ad set to have another uh these other four creatives you've also created more creatives using different hooks just have them as another ad set basically that's what you do then you launch so i had to put ad set x because i don't know the number you are doing so depending but four ad set is okay four for each you are good to go and let them run you yourself will be tired of getting conversion now for people that are probably i won't say new you just want a step-by-step -step video tutorial on how to set up this remember this particular video i said i created some months ago whereby this person said he used he implemented what i talked about in that video and it got series of you can still use the same thing but the only difference now is you have creatives to use so still follow the same strategy i shared here so what i did here is this this is like a 55 minutes video but what i did is this i've included the link to this tutorial so when you click on this link it will start from this particular part so not from the beginning now just start from um i think 13 minutes into the video right so you can just watch that part on facebook ad scaling phase two and if you have not watched it you can decide to also watch everything from scratch so instead of me going into all of this there is no need so just go watch this and if you are totally new to facebook as well go to adelikishami.com forward slash mad if you are totally new you just want to learn how to run facebook ads all of this jargon still sounds kind of gibberish go watch this facebook ads tutorial for beginner so guys i hope uh this is helpful and lastly to access this particular 
prompt just go to adelikesamuel.com forward slash scale prompt scale dash prompt it will give you access to everything i've shared here the prompt the creative samples to reference and video tutorials i recommended i hope you found this particular tutorial helpful please do well to like this video also drop comment okay thank you guys and i will see you in my next video bye for now